Hey everyone, welcome back to What's Happening. So I guess it's time for me to reactivate my Peacock subscription. Uh, Queen's Court will air this Thursday, March 16th. And the show will include Tamar Braxton, Evelyn Lozada, and Nivea. Um, it says that they've had massive success, but the one area they have not ruled in is the matters of the heart. Now in their 40s, these mature and healthy queens are leaving behind a history of broken dreams, high profile divorces and domestic abuse to open their hearts and find their kings. With the help of Holly Robinson and Rodney Pete, the queens hold court in Atlanta where they will meet 21 eligible men who think they're ready to take the hand of one of these high profile divas. Now I guess this explains where Tamar met Jeremy or AKA Mr. JR. We seen her out last August with him for his birthday. And it seemed like the romance was boiling between the two of them, but then it seems like it fizzled out pretty quickly. Um, I know Tamar went live and she said that these dudes out here are for everybody. Now, back in November, um, she did state that she's only focused on herself because it's too difficult to try to find a man in Atlanta. And also during her Instagram venting session, she says some of these dudes level of laziness is atrocious and astonishing. So we don't really know what happened to um, their relationship. But I guess if you decide to tune in the Peacock, you'll be able to see how and why they hooked up. Now, up next, Mr. Sean Diddy Combs or Mr. Love. I'm not quite sure what name he's using these days, but Diddy is looking to purchase a majority stake in BET after Paramount Global announced that the network was up for sale. Um, so that information was given to Variety. And as the founder and chairman of Revolt, Diddy is already the mastermind behind one successful network and his intent on leading BET in a return to black ownership. Now, this would be a pretty lucrative deal as it would include BET, BET Plus, and VH1. Now, Paramount Global hasn't been talking to anyone yet. Um, we do know that Tyler Perry announced earlier this month that he was interested in purchasing a stake in the company. And Byron Allen, who is a television producer, he is also a contender for the buyout as well. So once again, I guess we'll just have to wait and see what happens. Now, somebody said that Diddy needs to go somewhere and sit down. <laughs> but I don't know. I think it's a good idea that someone of the African-American community is interested in purchasing back the network but if you follow Diddy he seems like he's had his hands full here recently you know he um, had a little girl and um, he calls himself big love and calls her baby love and she is absolutely adorable but sound off below let me know what you think about the queen's court if you will possibly tune in tonight and what do you think about Diddy and Tyler Perry and Byron Allen wanting to purchase BET I thank you for watching and listening. And as always, you guys, I will talk to you again in the next video. Please give this video a thumbs up and comment below. And make sure you hit the notification bell so you never miss an update from what's happening.